Um, not, the, not the best way for, for Jimmy to sign off, um, but a good season overall for you guys. Um, I suppose uh, it's progress from last year and the year before and that, but uh, there's not one player in that dressing room that's, that's not bitterly disappointed. Like in such a strong position, we um, we, we we really want to make the playoffs, and it's really disappointing to uh, have not been able to do that. Um, it's hard to really understand why. I know we we got some bad injuries at crucial times and stuff like that, but you know it's a dis it's very disappointing not to have made the playoffs, but. Even today, though we lost, I, I thought our performance was actually quite good, surprisingly enough. Even when we went down to 10 men, we looked every bit like we were going to get an equaliser. So, and I suppose in that sense, it wasn't, the, wasn't as bad as it could have been. How important is it to keep this group of players now? Obviously, a lot of guys out of contract. Yeah, so. I've been saying that the past couple of weeks. I think it, it's crucial, if I'm honest. I think there's a core of players there that, in the past three years, are, are achieving something really good and are on track to do something even better. And I think keeping that core of players, the core 9, 10, 11 players, is crucial if you want to progress here next season, in my opinion. Is that the target then, promotion next season, play Of course, yeah. 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 And uh, obviously the new man, Terry, which came in, have you, have you met him yet? Or? No, not yet, he hasn't, he hasn't met the team yet. Um, I think, sensibly enough, he's, he left it with, with Jimmy and, and Hats and that for the end of the season. I think it, it made sense to do that. But um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to meeting him in pre-season at some point and uh, hopefully we have a good start. Obviously, Jimmy, he's an emotional farewell on this. Yeah. What's he been like since, uh, since he took over as number one with you guys? Um, the, the best thing I can say about Jimmy when he took over is that he didn't change a bit as a person from beforehand. He, he kept the exact same. He was the exact same as assistant manager as he was manager, which, which I think is the perfect way to deal with it. If you try and change yourself as a person and be someone you're not, you know, players are going to see, see that a mile away. So I think the way he's managed the players and, and not tried to get too ahead of himself has been ideal. And he's used the expertise of different guys and used them to help him. And I think I think he's done really well since he came in. And we did we missed out in the playoffs, but given the situation we were in, I think he did really well. What do you think he can go on and do now? Do you think he can go on and make and make, make a success of himself? I'm sure he, I'm sure he can. I, I, he could see this as a stepping stone. You know, he, he's done reasonably well as, since he was manager here. So, you know, if I was him, I'd be saying it's a stepping stone onto a to a better future. I suppose he, he's shown that he's well capable of managing a club, and if that's what he wants to do, then good luck to him. And I'm sure he's capable of it. He played alongside Regan today. What? Uh, how much of a prospect is he? What's what, what's he like around the place? It's, it's funny because. I keep expecting to play a game with him and go, oh, that's there's a 16-year-old in him, but it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And and it's that's the last three, four games where I've played with him, and even the the, the York game last week and the game before that, Dagenham Redbridge, he was unbelievable. He was more or less our best player, and that's just a ridiculous achievement for a 16-year-old to be doing that playing centre back in League Two. I I can't get my head around it. And you know, I think by far and away he's one of the best prospects in Wales at the moment. What do you, mm. what do you think he could go on and do? Obviously, in Chester, and, and, and obviously he's had Fulham and that looking at him and more than capable of going on to a higher level. More than capable. Back to the game. Did you see the? Uh, did you see the red card? What did you think of it? Well, that's never a red card. No. No. Um, well, well, first was it, it for the foul or was it for the headbutt? Do you know? Uh, he said it was for the foul. Oh, okay. That's what the ref said, which is which is what makes it crazy. I didn't really see the aftermath, so I don't know if anything happened. Afterwards, but he he said it was for the foul, and he didn't actually make contact with the guy. So, you know, <laughs> terrible decision if you ask me. But I think we actually did really well when we down, went down to ten men. So that can't happen as well. But um, you know, it would have given us a better chance, obviously. And yeah, terrible decision if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think it was? Though? Well, obviously, you couldn't get back in the games. It just like an extra touch. Um, not today. I thought. I thought we created chances today and, and we looked dangerous. Just like obviously when there's a man less, you've got to allow the other team to have a certain amount of possession even when you're one 0 down and chasing the game. But I thought when we did get good possession, you know, Berners, Jan, especially Dave Tatonda, he's a real, real attacking threat. And then obviously as a and Robbie when he came on he was brilliant. So there was plenty of cutting edge there. I thought I thought we were just a little bit unlucky. They just kept getting crucial blocks, didn't they? Yeah. Um, and that's great defending from them, I suppose. But I thought we created enough chances today to, to um, at least got a draw. Brilliant. Thanks. Just on, on the new contract, obviously. Yeah. Delighted to, to uh, have your future signings in. Yeah, yeah, it was something that 
I was keen to get done obviously before the end of the season. I think uh, for my own security as well as anything else, for it, especially with all the contracts being up in the air, I didn't want to to let it go past this Saturday where I'd be in a position where I'll, because obviously I had a deadline where I had to have it in before this Saturday if I wanted to extend the contract. I didn't want it to get to a stage where I didn't get my deadline in on time and then I ended up out of contract with it. You know, it's not in my hands anymore. So I think I was lucky to have had my own future in my hands and it was an easy decision really. I couldn't say no. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's a GAA dream uh, what? over another season then. You, you <laughs> I don't like talking about that. <laughs> Cause I'll, go, I'll get home for the summer and I'll get involved in the Gaelic again and then it's going to be start all over again. But uh, you know, I've, My career is over here at the moment and I've signed a contract here and that's where my future is. And I'll go home for the summer and I'll enjoy you know, maybe playing a bit of Gaelic again. But you know, this, is, this is my job so it's the main priority for now. You nearly went the other way, didn't it, like a year ago? You feel like you've made the right decision? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose in a way this year personally it hasn't gone according to plan. Um, with a couple of operations and stuff like that, I missed out on a lot of football. And when I missed, when I was missing through injury, I couldn't get back in the team because of the standard centre backs that were here, obviously with Darren, Ish, and Regan. You know, there's three podcast centre backs. So it was it was frustrating that I couldn't get a regular run in the team personally. But um the fact that the team has progressed again and looks like doing that again next season and if I can be a part of that again next season then I think overall I'll, I'll have made the right call to come back. And the chance to work with the defenders, you know, as it creates this is terrible, it must yeah. be must be a good opportunity. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Because um I've I've wor- I've worked under managers who are defenders before, and I've always found that they they're generally successful because then <coughs> they create teams that have a solidity about them. And from what I've heard about um, Terry's teams, Inverness in particular, they're really solid teams who, who don't concede a lot. And as a defender, that's that's my main priority. So if he can bring that to our team, then I'll, I'll be really happy in the fourth work with him. Watching you your videos in the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have heard all about him. I know his history of playing in England in the 80s. You know, his, his career speaks for itself, doesn't it? With 70 odd caps, or whatever it is. So, you know, he's already got the utmost respect from everyone at the club. He doesn't, he doesn't need to prove anything to us other than that he can lead us as a manager, which I'm, which I'm sure he'll be brilliant at. So, I'm really looking forward to working with him.